wall I built for them wasn't the fact that they didn't care about me or or they weren't willing to help. It was just the drugs chilling in my head. They didn't care because they didn't help me yeah, my habit. Home, That's all it was. But I was too dope sick to understand that until I got sober. And what happened, I got kidnapped. A person that cared about me that I hurt came back and did it for me. She helped me get off of it. And I never did it again. I did it when I was 21. 21 years old. When I got out of the TYC. I was in TYC from 13 to 21. I got out of the TYC. I got hooked on that. I ended up in prison right after that. I did six years in TDC and got out. And I never did it again. I'm 40, pushing me 42. All right. 20 something years. That's why I smoke cigarettes. My, my whole system crashed. Because everybody it says once you stop, it goes away. That's a lie. Oh, you're right. Yes. You always lie. have that moment. That one I time you get pissed system. off, you feel some type of way. You feel at your lowest. And that's it. the first thing you go to because it makes you comfortable. And, and that's what better. was the problem. My mic should be better Everything every time that I reset made it. me uncomfortable, I went back to what made me comfortable. And I never dealt with anything by doing that over and over Welcome shooting back, up everyone. and this is how I got it knowing you I didn't shoot up in my arms and nowhere no this is what I did it in my feet and it's weird because you don't jump the car down you? just to shoot in my you know? get out all right you go so that's why you know I'm out here because I can relate to these people right here, you know? Some of them are like that, what I just explained, and some of them are just here because shit happens, man. Life will show you people who are arrogant. Oh, by the way, Chili is in uh, Waco, Texas, by the way. Chili is in Waco. He was at a Sir Mix a Lot concert in Waco last night, I believe. Those that are tracking Chili, that's your Chili update. Chili is in Waco. Chili's in Waco. Sound the alarm. Sound the alarm. Everyone in Waco, go find Chili. Chili's in Waco. Let Kill Shot Kate know he's in Waco. Let the record reflect that we refer to Kate as Kill Shot Kate. I need that to go down in the record somewhere. <laughs> Ten loads? Yeah, is that your seat set? Yep. Yep. Cool. That, uh, one of the steel roller built, uh, bearings on the slinger went? Yeah. I haven't talked to Kyle, but I let, uh, Buddy know there. He said they used the last one on another, on the other truck or something, so I gotta get a hold of Kyle and get one ordered. For the belt. The belt, the rolling pin type ones, the steel ones? Yeah. It's moving like an inch it's it's so i can't sling until unless we take it off maybe and just run without it you better call him call kyle yeah okay well, that's what he normally call? well i told everyone else everyone else knows but yeah kyle i think orders it so yeah, all right Please. all right sounds good thank you and former Vice President Mike Pence is speaking out just days before the House Select Committee will look at the pressure that he was under to reject Joe Biden's certification as president. At the same time, there are new questions about money that former President Trump raised on the back of false stolen election claims. Here's ABC's Chief Washington correspondent, Jonathan Clark. 
As lawmakers prepare to outline what they describe as Donald Trump's relentless pressure campaign against his own vice president, Mike Pence. Should we, should we smoke some weed? You guys want to smoke a dab? Uh, I'm kind of high right now, man. I don't know if I can smoke any more deal if I pass out. It's just speaking out. I'll always believe that I did my duty that day. And I know in my heart of hearts I did. And I believe that when all the information and the facts come forward, the American people will better understand her. Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Are you going to raid the White House again? Have to testify that it was Pence, not Donald Trump, who called the Pentagon when the Capitol was under siege. So when Trump had two or three calls from Vice President Pence, he was very angry. And he issued very explicit. Ariel Pink was at the Gen 6, so was psychotic. Yeah, I think Yobo was there. I think uh, Alice was there. You Chiefs might have been there. There's a, there's a bunch of people that was at the Gen 6 thing, right? By contrast, here is General Milley's description of his conversation with President Trump's Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows, on January 6th. He said, uh, we, have, we have to kill the narrative that the Vice President is making all the decisions. Mitty is using the testimony of Trump's own top advisors to make the case against him. Former Attorney General Bill Barr saying when it came to claims of a stolen election, Trump didn't care about the truth. When I went into this and would, you know, tell him how crazy some of these allegations were, there was never, there was never an indication of interest what the actual facts are. The committee says Trump and his allies conned supporters into donating some $250 million to fight the election results. So not only was there the big lie, there was the big ripoff. Where did the money actually go? One million of it went to a foundation run by White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. More than $200,000 spent at Trump Organization properties. And tens of thousands of dollars went to Donald Trump Jr.'s fiance, Kimberly Guilfoyle, who was seen backstage at the rally outside the White House on January 6th. Liberty-loving patriots that will not let them steal this election! She spoke for two and a half minutes, and then was paid $60,000. Wait, what? $400 a second. And Damn! Uh, joins us now from Washington. John, we expect to learn more from the committee hearing about that pressure camp. Bro, we're in the wrong industry, bro. We need to be scallywags, man. Scallywagging is where's that, bro. That's where the money's be at, man.
something that's left in the bitch behind the fucking car when she think that you have me. This time I am for days. I've been trying to play it for you. And I pay the fucking bill so you don't get in the rage. But you just tripping. But seeing you got something on your chest. You've been moving around with some people. Now you get laid.